turn my ringer off. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to do a loop band, lower body, or mini band, same, same thing, <laughs> lower body workout today. So uh, grab your stuff and get ready to join me. You need a mat and some loop bands, a chair, and five-pound dumbbells. I'm going to say that again when a few more people get logged on here. I'll give you just a second, but let me turn my fan off. And then I'll repeat what you need. All right, hang on. It's just gonna be too loud. <laughs> um, so for our mini band lower body class today, you need a mat, some water, maybe some music if you like to listen to music, and then you will need something to sit down on. You'll obviously need your loop bands or mini bands. I've been encouraging everybody to have a few different strengths or sizes of mini bands. So today I have my extra strong, my strong, and my medium. So if you have access to a few different sizes, grab them. And then you'll need a set of light dumbbells today for class. Fives are what I'm using. That should work great. So grab a set of those. We're going to get started here in just a second. I'm going to give you oh, a minute maybe to gather your stuff, check in, let me know if you're here, and then we'll get started. So lots of fun lower body work today. Um, seems like we just barely did lower body. We kind of did. Monday, we had a heavy strength day. Yesterday was upper body and cardio. So today, we're kind of going to take it back down to some lower body work. Um, this class is a lot different from my heavy strength class. So we're gonna work those leg muscles in a different way. This type of workout is really important too. And so I'm excited to show you what I got for you. Let me know if you're here this morning. Check in and say, hey, I'm working out with you. And gather your equipment because in 20 seconds, we're gonna start the clock. <laughs> we're gonna get moving. Um, last little rundown, you need some loop bands, you need a chair, and you need a set of five pound dumbbells, and you will need a mat. All right, how about we get started? So we can get done, grab your loop band for this first move, I am choosing my strongest loop band, so my extra strong band, and I'm going to start with it just below my knees. All right, we're gonna to start to warm up and engage our glutes, quads, hamstrings, all that good stuff, right? We're just gonna start with the squat. So get your feet hip width apart or slightly wider, and we're gonna go down and up. Ready, here we go. Down and up. I just want you to get used to this movement. Most of you guys have been working out with me now for a while, so so much of what I tell you, you're like, I already know that, Aaron. <laughs> but I want to start out with a full range of motion. So you're going to go down and stand all the way up. Keep your weight in your heels. Make sure that weight is going back. Feet are lined up. I just want you to get into the motion, the movement, the zone, and start to feel those glutes working. We're gonna do five more full range of motion all the way down and up. And then we're gonna take it to a smaller, lower squat, all right? Those of you logging on, make sure you've got a chair, a few different strengths of loop bands if you have access to those, and a set of five pound dumbbells. All right, how do I start counting? Here we go. <laughs> five. <coughs> and four. <clears throat> Three. Two, last one, and we're gonna take it down. All right, so adjust so your weight is back. We're gonna take this to a small, low squat, so you're not gonna come all the way up, all right? You're gonna go down and up, not quite all the way. Keep your weight through your heels. Engage those glutes. We've got five, four, 
three, two, last one, hold it down. Now you're gonna turn your toes out, okay? Here we go, five. Ooh, now I can feel the glutes, four, three, two, and one. Line those toes straight up again, five, Four, now we're gonna do 10 alternating. Three, two, and one. Toes are going out. You got down and up. Forward, down and up. Out, down and up. Forward, down and up. Eight more, eight. And seven. <clears throat> Six. And five. Woo! Four. And three. Woo! Two. Last one. Toes out. Toes. Neutral, and we finally get to stand up. Man, oh man, all right, we're gonna take our band, bring it up above your knees, and grab your five pound dumbbells. Today, you are in for a treat, because we are gonna pay some extra attention to our quads. So, you're gonna take your five pound dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you need something that you can raise your heels up onto. And I want them, pretty close together. So your feet lined up with your hips. Those heels are raised, toes are on the ground. We're just gonna start to do a squat with our heels up. You're ready? Here we go. Down and up. Full range of motion. All the way down and up for now. I want you to go as low as you can go. Even though your heels are raised, I still want you to try to keep your weight in those heels too. Your weight is gonna be jammed up in your toes. That's the whole reason to raise your heels. But I don't want so much weight forward that you feel like you're gonna fall forward. You gotta have some weight in those heels still. Get as low as you can, and we're gonna hold it down there when we get to five, four, Three, two, last one. Hold it down. You're just gonna push, 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 okay? Just sitting low. Add a little outer thighs, we may as well while we're here. Let's go with 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, last one, stay down, neutral legs. We're gonna go a little lower, and I want you to either grab your toes, your ankles, your shoelaces, something down here, okay? You're gonna sit your butt low, straighten up. Keep your head up slightly, like look out in front of you. Don't look down through your legs. Sit low, straighten up. We're doing 10. Nine, eight, seven, Seven, six, five, four quads, right? Woo! Three, two, keep your butt down. And you're gonna do little teeny low pulses. Keep your butt as low as you can for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and stand up, because that's horrible, right? <laughs> Shake it out, beautiful job. Okay, we get to use our chair again. So move those five pounds out of the way. We used the chair yesterday. We're gonna use it again today. All you need is the back of it to start with. You're gonna take that loop band and bring it under your knees. We're gonna sit in a squat position. The chair is just there to help you balance, all right? So go ahead and sit low. Try to keep your chest up 
and your butt down, and then get your feet wide enough that you've got resistance on that band. All we're gonna do is press out. So I want you to really engage your glutes here. The lower you sit, like the lower your backside is closer to your heels, and the more your chest is up, the more you're gonna feel it in your glutes. The more you're leaning forward, you're gonna be quad heavy, and our quads are already really tired. So try to be upright. You can take your feet wider if you're not feeling it, okay? Find that sweet spot for you. A little bit of a wider stance for me. Chest up, butt down, and I can feel the workload here in my outer thighs and glutes. And we're gonna do 15 little outward pushes. I'm gonna turn and face you so you can kind of see what it looks like from the front, but we'll start coming. 15, 14, keep going. 13, so you're just pressing out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand up, bring those legs in close, and we're gonna shake it out. Beautiful job. All right, set that chair aside. One more move to really get this lower body on fire before we localize this burn quite a bit. Leave your band where it's at. Come down in the squat. We're gonna shuffle and then shuffle. Depending on how much space you have, I usually go about all three or four steps. But try to keep those knees out wide and your butt low. All this work with the band you need to be really deliberate about where your center of gravity is, where your body weight is shifting. So if you want the workload in your glutes, which is what we want, chest up, butt down, push those knees open as well. You'll feel it. The other thing I like to focus on is keeping my feet lined up. So my toes are straight ahead. I almost try to lead with my ankles because I want to really get that glute activation. <sighs> Keep going. <laughs> this is one of my favorite moves for glutes. I love it because it's really effective, but you can kind of do it anywhere. And I remember after having my babies, this is the type of stuff I would do throughout the day. I can just walk around holding them <laughs> and still get some work in. I have friends that have a job that allows them to throw in stuff like this every once in a while. It's really easy to bring a new band somewhere. Lunch break. This is the kind of stuff. Fit it in anyways. But if you have friends or family, I know it's not you. If you have friends or family that say they don't have time to work out, you can do a few of these <laughs> in your day. You don't even have to go to a gym. All right, my backside is seizing up. That's how I know, okay, we're getting close. We're gonna go down and back two more times. There it is. <sighs> One. Get those knees out there. And there's oh, two. Oh, all right. We're gonna sit down. Sounds nice, right? So we're gonna grab our chair. And I'm gonna go down in the strength of loop band that I'm using. We're gonna move back into some quad work. And I want a little more range of motion. So I have my extra strong. And I'm moving to my medium. And I'm going to put it around my ankles for calves, if that's more comfortable for you. Okay. Just like so. Let me sit back a bit so you can see. We're going to sit on the end of our chair, sit up nice and tall. Quads, I told you. Okay. So right leg, 
We're simply going to straighten it out, all right? Try to sit up as straight as you can. It's okay if you grip your chair. And we're gonna start with the lift, okay? So I want you to have some range of motion. I want you to be able to lift your leg a little bit. Lift your leg as high as you can, keep it as straight as you can. The more you can sit upright, so when you lean back, your hip flexors and your core help you raise your leg. Now, I am all for working on our core and our hip flexors, but not when our focus is quads. So do your best to sit up, okay? And just raise that leg. Push against your loop band. We're gonna do about 12, and I've got a couple more positions we're gonna go to without a rest. So keep your leg in the air, okay? Here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your leg up. We're gonna do a circle one way and then a circle the other, okay? I'm gonna start out. So we're going out and around, back and around, up and out, back and around, all right? Make this your own, but I want a big arch at the top. Even though I'm asking you to sit up straight, your core is still gonna be engaged. So you might get a little extra core activation. Hip flexor and quad is gonna start to turn fire, 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 and pain. <laughs> right about now. One direction, other direction. I'm gonna do my best to keep this looking like a circle. And we're gonna do five and five, four and four, three, two. Last one, we're not ready to put our foot down yet. Leave that leg up, we're gonna bend straight. Now, if you are physically unable to keep your leg up, it's okay to kind of help hold that leg up. But I want you to focus on the squeeze at the top. So straighten that leg as straight as you can. If you have quads of steel and you can keep your leg elevated without help, do it. But we are gonna do 10, because that hip flexor and quad are gonna be fried. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, whoo, two, last one, one, and put that leg down. Oh, shake it out. All right, quad hip flexor. Even though this hip flexor is getting a lot of work right now, it's going to creep down into quad, and we really need to strengthen up that hip flexor area in order to be able to engage our core when we do some of our ab work tomorrow, and our quad. So if you feel like your hip flexor is taking over, that is okay. As we strengthen that area, it will take over less and less, all right? Okay, let's sit up nice and straight. We're gonna go the other leg. Straighten it out, here we go, lift. Now, we're starting over on the other side, so kind of regroup, sit up nice and straight. Get that leg as high as you can. This goes without saying with my regulars, I know, but if you feel like the medium strength, if you went down in strength with me and you feel like it's way too easy, go up in strength. You can use your extra strong or strong loop band as well, all right? So figure out where you need to be, especially at the end of this set, your quad and hip flexor should have been like unbearably uncomfortable. But, some of you are just super, super strong in the quad area, and maybe you need a heavier band than, than I need. All right, give me 10. Nine, eight, keep your leg as straight as you can. The straighter you can keep that leg, the more your quad is gonna take over. That's what we want. Three, two, last one, and we got a circle, one direction, other direction, one way 
And then the other way. This was the move that got me last time. Woo! Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Now, those of you that are constantly asking me for more exercises for glutes, I hear you. I love to work glutes too. And we're going to get those in again today as well. We did a bunch at the beginning, and I've got some more for you at the end. But it's important to get some of this localized quad work in sometimes too. And that day is today. So we're going to do five, four, three, two, uh, last one, over. And back. Now we gotta keep that leg up. Hold it up if you can't manage on your own. Straighten, bend. The work is being done when you straighten your leg. You also need to keep it elevated up off your chair. So why I'm showing you this holding your leg, if your hip flexor is too tired to keep your leg up, hold that leg up. But try to just help yourself out just enough that you can manage, all right? We're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, and one. Put that foot down. All right, we're gonna take our new band. This one, I'm gonna move up above my knees, and then I'm gonna take my extra heavy one and put it below. If you only have one band, put it below your knees, all right? Let's see if I can get my band on my sweaty legs here. Okay, glutes, right? Below my knees, that's what I said. <laughs> okay, sit up nice and straight, scooch to the end of your chair, get your legs nice and wide, and we're gonna go back to those outward presses with our knees. Now, we're going to do high repetitions of this move. So a few things. I want you to keep a lot of tension on your band at all times. So your legs are as wide as you can stand. Don't let your knees come in, all right? If you feel like you can do these all day long, then you need to get your legs way wider and you need to take your knees with you. So I don't want to see this, okay? Get those knees out there too. The other thing, keep pushing out. Line your feet up and take your ankles or heels either parallel or even a little bit out if you're able. That's gonna engage your glutes. Sit up straight, poke your chest up and out. That's gonna engage those glutes as well. We are really gonna localize, hit, target those glute muscles now. So we got some quads. Quads no more. Full on glutes but focus, be in the moment, and get it done. Can I do 15 seconds of this? I am not sure, but we are sure gonna count it out. Here we go. 15, 14, chest up and out, 13, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. Oh, come on, legs. Three, two, and one. Oh, and let those knees come in. All right. We're going to bring our feet in close, knees out wide. Now, it's okay if you roll, if you can see, I'm kind of on the sides of my feet. Once we go to this movement, it's still an outward push. It's more of a butterfly movement. It is okay if it helps you to kind of be on the sides of your feet, but you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna let you choose once you get going where you can get that range of motion. All right, let me scoot back so you can see. Feet are together. I like to be a little bit on the sides. Sit up straight and tall. We're doing the same thing. Press, press. Now, this is a wider, smaller movement. So our knees are staying way out here, and we're kind of pressing out and down, okay? You can go faster. Sit up straight still, but you are going to feel 
a burn on the outside of your cheeks. And it is in such a great place. But I don't want you to concave with this, okay? Chest up and out. Be right there on the edge of that chair. Lots of pressure out and down. You feel that? It's good, right? Right on the outside, those hips. Can we do 15 seconds? Sure we can. Make it count. You can go faster. You can press harder. Whatever works for you. But burn those babies out. Here we go. 15, 14, chest up and out. 12, 11, uh, 9, 8, 7, oh my gosh, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And I'm going to hold my knees in. Great job. All right. We're taking that heavy band off. And we're going with our lighter band again. But I'm going to tell you where I'm headed because if you want to choose the heavier band for you, you can. So those three sets for quads. The lift, circle, and then the extension. We're going to do one more set of all three of those per leg. But I'm going to combine them all together into one movement. So we're going to do two lifts, two circles one way than the other, and then two down and up. We're going to repeat like that. So if that helps you know where you need to be with your loop band, if you feel like you need a stronger one, now's your chance. Okay? All right. My legs are jello, but we're going to start with the leg we ended with. So sit up straight. Straighten out that leg. I'm going to count us out. We're going to do two of each. All right, we'll do it slow at first. Here we go. Two and one. Circle two and one. Bend and straight two and one. Again, down, up, two, one, pick a direction, two, and one, down and up, two, and one, keep it there, two, one, big circle, sit up nice and straight, two, and one, two, and one, again, two, and one, two, one, two, and one, three more, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two more, two, and one. Oh, can I do it? I don't know. Two, and one, last one, two, one, two, and one, two, leave it straight, up in the air, little teeny lifts, we're going to finish here, sit up straight and tall, keep your legs high as you can, straight leg lifts, 10 seconds, go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, oh, 3, 2, and I have to hold my leg, so I can bend it. Oh, man. All right. A little bit of a massage there, maybe a punch. <laughs> and we're going to move on to the other side. All right? I have to breathe before we start or something. Oh, quad work always gets me. Whoo! Okay. Enough stalling. Let's do it. Straighten that leg. Two, two, and two. Here we go. Two, one, circle. Two. And one, bend and straight. Two, and one, again. Two, one, two, one, two, and one. Keep going. Two, one, and I do it. Oh, it's just going to get ugly, but you guys are used to that, right? Two, and one, two, one. Two, and one. Bend and straighten. Two, one. Three more. Two, one. Set up as straight as you can. Two, and one. Two, one. Keep it going. Two, and two, 
and two. Last one with all three. Two and one. And two and one. Now straighten that leg, sit up straight. Little lifts. This is where we burn out your quad as straight as you can get your leg. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that is that. I have to hold my leg bent. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm gonna throw in one more set of our seated ab ab abductions. But I'm gonna up the ante for myself. So since we're not doing any more of the seated quad stuff, I'm getting rid of my medium band. And both my bands, I'm gonna do heavy, heavy, extra heavy. You can do two extra heavy if you want. I'm gonna put my extra heavy on top and my heavy on the bottom. If you only have one band, put it on the bottom. Right below your knees. Okay. We're gonna do a set the same way we did the seated set before. Legs are out wide for this first one. You're gonna push your knees out and then we're gonna bring it to that diamond shape, which I loved the last time. I'm like, we have to do a second set of this one. It's working so well, which means it's horrible. Bring your legs out as wide as you can, okay? Push yourself here. Here we go, push, push. Sit up straight and tall. Poke your chest out. It even helps me to engage my glutes to scoot right to the edge of my chair, but to even have like an arch in my back, okay? You don't want to overcompensate with your hip flexors and your core by going like that, okay? You gotta get yourself to a position with these bands that your glutes are on fire. So adjust if you're not there. And I have told you guys a million times, different adjustments you can make so you don't hear that again. But don't be afraid to move. Okay, we're gonna do about 20. Well, oh, here we go. You guys don't need to hear me count down from 20 to you. <laughs> I'm gonna take my heels out a little farther. They're starting to creep in on me. And I'm losing my range of motion, so I brought my feet in a bit. I'm not afraid to make adjustments. I wanna get that burn right there on my glutes. Let's go with 10, nine, eight, seven. Oh my gosh. Five, oh, four, I am a shaky, shaky mess. Two, and one, oh, I'm gonna try to bring my legs in gently and not just have them snap together because they're so tired. All right, we're gonna go into that diamond shape. Abduction, loved it. So if you only have one loop band again, it needs to be on this bottom part of your knees. You can be on the sides of your feet or flat footed, but bring your feet together and then kind of figure out what works best for you. Everything else is the same, chest up and out. Those knees are gonna be wider, think down, out and down. Ready, let's go. Smaller, wider movements. Way out here because we want to keep that tension on our band, right? Sit up nice and straight. And then we're gonna pick up the pace, here we go. Just like a little butterfly. <laughs> if it hurts your ankles, you don't need to be way far on the sides of your feet. I am a little bit, but it's still just as effective to be more upright with those feet. And you may find that you can feel it more having the soles of your feet facing the ground a little bit more. I'm somewhere in between, so keep fluttering. I don't like the soles of my feet in this movement to be together. They're more like that, okay? So kind of in a pyramid. That's where I can feel it on the outsides of my glutes the best. You can even try flat-footed if you want. This is about glutes not having our feet in one very specific position. All right, guys. 10 seconds, can we do it? I want you to push yourself on these 10, so get your knees wide, find the position of your feet, 
and get your chest up and out. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Again, to try to alleviate the risk of my legs just snapping back together because they're so tired, I'm going to help with my hands. Okay, let's step out of these loop bands and try to stand up. <clears throat> I will not let you down on leg day. We will burn it out like crazy. <clears throat> and I don't know if I ever get through a leg day, even if we focus on quads or hamstrings or calves, that we don't still get plenty of work in those glutes, all right? I just I can't do a leg day without a little bit there. I don't know why, I just can't do it. So we will today. Okay, we're gonna come down on the ground. You're not gonna need your chair again, I believe. I guess unless we end up with tons of time at the end of class, which never happens. <laughs> you need to have your weighted dumbbells close by, but we're not gonna use them quite yet. You are gonna take one of your heavier loop bands if you have the option, and put it above your knees once you're down here, okay? We're gonna be kneeling. So I'm going to face you, and I like to give myself some extra padding for this move because we're going to be putting quite a bit of pressure on our knees. Some of you that come to my in-studio classes when I used to do them in-studio are thinking, oh no, I think I know what this might be. Please don't be what I think it is. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. We're all going to get started on this move. This might be the most effective way to burn out quads that I have ever discovered. <laughs> but it does take a little bit of finesse. So once we get started, I want you to keep going, but I'm gonna turn around a couple different ways so you can see different angles and adjust accordingly. We wanna work our quads. So I've added the loop band for a little extra. I want you to take your knees out wide enough that you have some tension on that band. That's the theme of the band, right? Feet can just be on the ground. So follow along with me. You're gonna poke your butt back and pretend like you were about to sit back on your heels. Right before your butt touches your heels, you are gonna tuck your hips up and under. Your body's gonna lean back and you're gonna feel your quads take all the load of your weight, okay? And then you're gonna use those quads to lift you up. Let's try it again. Sit. Tuck and lift. It's not quick, okay? Right as your butt brushes your heels, you're gonna tuck your hips and use your quad muscles to lift you. So keep going, feel this movement. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see from there. You probably don't even need to, but this will give you an idea. So you're sitting back, tuck, and you want to lift with your quads up, okay? Keep it going. We are going to do five. Keep going. On the fifth one, you're going to pause right before your butt hits your heels, okay? Five. Four. Three, and two. Last one, we're gonna do a full rep, so come up, okay? And then we're gonna sit back just before your butt hits your heels, tuck your hips and hover right over those heels, okay? Your quads have all of the workload. You're gonna do little lifts. You have 10 seconds. Keep your butt just barely above your heels. Keep your hips tucked under so your quads are doing the work. They will burn unbearably. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, keep those hips tucked. Seven, five, six, please stop. Five, four, three, Two, and one. Now whenever I do this move, my quads are so fried, 
that to get out, I come down to all fours and just straighten out those legs for just a second. <laughs> to kind of alleviate some of that crazy quad burn so I can sit down. All right, no more quad work for a second. <laughs> Take that band off just for a second. You're going to be putting a loop band back on. But we're going to give our legs some breathing room <clears throat> and we're going to come down on our side. So I'm going to spread this out again. And we're grabbing our loop band again, right? We just got out of it for just a second. Let me stand up. You can put it on seated. But I want your heavy band just above your knees. I stood up because I got to get my clock. And make sure I'm not making us go over. You guys, we're running out of time for my stuff again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, we're going to lay on our side. We're going to begin to some time. I want to get the most bang for our buck. We're going to do one set on both sides. So because of that, we're going to use a band and a five pound dumbbell, okay? Because we are gonna really make this a challenge. So, we're gonna lay down on your side, bring your knees in towards your chest. You got your band, I want your heels away from your backside, knees in. And then you're gonna take your weight just above your knee and just balance it there, okay? You ready? We're just gonna do a lift. So, quads, now we gotta get to those glutes. I want you banded and weighted. If that becomes too much and my leg is shaking like crazy, so it might for me, <laughs> you can always put your weight down. All right? So see how it goes. I want you to push yourself. And right now, we're going to try to do this with a band and a weight. So push against that band. We're going to do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five. You guys have done this set with me before because I love it. It's awesome. With the weight and the loop band, not sure if we've done that, but there's lots of options with this type of a glute activation movement. All right, hold your leg up. We're going to circle, circle, and circle. Push against your band. Don't let that band push you. You get that knee up and over. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're going the other direction. Oh my goodness. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, get away from my 5, 4, 3, Two, now we're going to take a very quick rest. So knees go on top of one another. You should feel pretty dang fried right there. So you're going to need that rest. Now we're going to switch and give ourselves an angle lift. You can get rid of the weight if you can't manage. This is going to be the finisher for sure. We'll see if I can even lift my leg. So foot is up, knees down. You're going to push. Oh my goodness. Oh, big push. Big push. Notice how my knee coming in front of my other knee up here. So that I've got a little range of motion. But I want the work being done when you push up. Oh, okay. We're going to shoot for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one, one, and that is that. So quickly, straighten your legs, a couple of tap. We're gonna roll on our back and try to just work out that glute just enough so that we can sit on it on this other side, all right? Um, pretty straightforward with this glute work on the floor. Straightforward and effective, okay? We'll get crazy with the quad stuff. I had to do a bunch of weird new things with our quads. So when it comes to glutes, we're just going to gut it out with the weight in the band. Simple and effective. Okay, I don't know if I can come down on my hip. Ooh, bring those knees in. 
Add your weight if you're able, and let's get after it. Lift. Man, oh man, my legs are a shaky mess, which is how it should be at the end of class. <laughs> but I'm going to really have to just dig deep, block it out, keep moving. Woo! Ten, nine, and eight. Six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, and we're gonna circle. So use your band, push against that band. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then we have to go the other way. Oh, 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 oh. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put it down. Remember just to regroup. I don't have to give myself one of those. Oh, to finish this set. And we've got that crazy angle. It's a big push. It's not tiny and sporadic. I want a big deliberate push. All right. Angle, oh, here we go, oh, big push, 12, 11, 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, that's all I can handle. For that glute move, my goodness. Okay, that stuff always gets me up. Oh, okay, let's give our knees a hug. I'm not quite there yet, but I will give your glutes a break. So let's stretch them out just for a second, just so we can move, shake them out, loosen them up a bit. And we're gonna rock and roll up to our seated position and we're back on our knees. So I've got two more moves to finish off our work today. One is quads, and then we're gonna end with glutes, and you're done, okay? Because of this crazy glute band, even though we have localized the burn on our glutes and our quads, your hamstrings, hips, maybe even inner thighs, not a lot of inner thighs in this class, I'll save that for later in the week, but everything's gonna be sore. This band kind of forces your legs to work at every angle. All right, we're gonna do our hip lifts, the ones that I showed you to tuck. Tuck and squeeze, only I'm gonna add a little shimmy to it, so be ready for that. Band, if you can stand it, you're like, I am done with this band, you can set the band aside, it's still effective without, okay? The band just forces your glutes to work a little tiny bit along with those quads. So we're gonna start out the same way, here we go. Sit back. Tuck and lift with your quads. Sit, tuck and lift. We're gonna do eight. I don't really care what you do with your hands, but I do want you to lift with your quads. Don't lift with your hip flexors. Keep your chest up, tuck your hips. Let those quads take the workload. It's not quick, okay? We're gonna do four more, and then we're gonna stay down just above our heels again, all right? Four, and three, two, last one. We're gonna stay down on this one, so just before you're gonna sit, tuck your hips, chest out. You're gonna swivel your hips out to the side, back, around, tuck, swivel. So the key is to go slow and keep your butt just barely above your heels. So you're doing a little shimmy, swivel. We're gonna go eight, 
Seven, pay attention to which direction you are swiveling. I'm going that way. Six, five, keep your chest out, try not to lean forward too much. Four, oh, three, two, last one. We're gonna go back to that full set, tuck and lift, sit, you got eight, here we go. Eight, we're almost done, just have to swivel in the other direction. Seven. Six. And five. Three. Last one, hold it down on this one. Just before you're gonna sit, tuck, we're going that way. Up and around. Other way. Oh my gosh. Eight, can I do it? I don't know. Seven. Six. And five. This is killing me. Four. Three, two, pass one, and one, and we're sitting down, and I'm gonna have to take a minute. Oh my gosh. Ah, all right. Straighten those quads out. And we're gonna take our loop band off just for a second. Unfortunately, it will go back on, but I gotta shake my legs out. Okay, remember at the beginning of those sets when I said this might be the most effective way I have found to really target my quads. Now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, the most fun way, maybe not, <laughs> but the most effective, I have not found many moves. I learned that move in a Pilates class like back in high school, and it still works so well. Okay, final move, not quads. That's all we care about at this point. It is not quads. <laughs> well, we're gonna sit. I'm gonna leave my band, or my mat here. Why not? And I'm gonna have a seat. Now, just for kicks, I think I'm gonna double band this one. This last move is not new to you guys. It's this one, okay? So I think just to up the ante a bit here, I'm gonna have a band above and below. Um, if you only have one band on this move, put it above, okay? Just the angle of how we're sitting, I think you'll get a little more leverage out of it, okay? We are sliding in to, yeah, the very end of the class. <clears throat> Be thinking because I'm gonna ask you, Quads always kick my butt. I'll be interested to hear from you if you liked that part of it. That doesn't necessarily mean that you felt like it, it was enjoyable. <laughs> if you liked that quad work, or if you are thinking, I could do without ever doing quad work again. I'd like to hear that from you. All right. So, we are gonna sit up nice and straight. You can use your arms to help support your back, chest up and out. We are going to put our feet in close together. Again, you can go on the sides of your feet if that helps you, but I want you to try to sit up, and we're gonna do a little butterfly out, out, and out, all right? So keep as much tension on that banana as you can. Keep your chest up and out, and we're gonna do these ones pretty quick. So you're gonna pick up the pace, a little tiny quick, Outward presses. It makes a huge difference if you sit really straight with your chest up and out and that chest is close to your knees, okay? If you're leaning back like this with your chest concave, then um, <clears throat> it's gonna be more outer thigh and not a lot of knees. Get those knees as wide as you can. We're gonna go 20 seconds. It's your job to get your knees out there as far as you can to make this burn like wildfire, okay? 
here we go. 20, 19, 18, get those knees wider, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Now, if you were thinking, you know, I think I could have done a few more of those. I got you. Final set. Take your feet out wide, okay? So they're not together anymore. Everything else is the same. But get those feet out real wide. Take your knees with you. Here we go. Push, push, push. Chest up and out. Now, this is going to be a little slower and stronger, but I still want you sitting up straight. Chest is in close to those knees. You have no excuses on this final set. You need to get yourself to failure. If you are not close to that right now, your feet and knees need to go out farther, all right? 20, 19, and I'm barely gonna be able to do this, I know. 16, 15, 14, 12, take your ankles out too. 10, oh my gosh, I am so shaky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, one. And that is that. So let those knees come together. We are gonna get rid of these ding loop bands. And we're gonna do a quick little stretch. Stick around with me if you can for the stretch. But I love to hear your feedback. I'm moving slow this morning, guys. Oh, I love to hear your feedback. So let me know what you thought of that quad stuff. I need it, I hate it, I never wanna do it again. Um, I want to know, all right? Shake those legs out. We're going to do a quick little butterfly. Shake it out, shake it out. It's so interesting to me, so we did a heavy leg day on Monday, which killed me. Today, we didn't use any weights hardly. One single five-pound dumbbell a little bit with our new bands, and it killed me just the same. Well, not the same, but you know, like equally. So I love that. It's so cool that we can work our bodies in so many different ways. Straight leg. That's all I can do right now because my glute is so tight. Let me know if you've completed class and let me know about that quad stuff. Whenever I come into my stretching at the end of class, that's the time I notice like, oh my gosh, I need to shave my legs. Um, the class is that we, I don't wear shoes a lot of times. I'm like, man, I haven't painted my toenails or clipped them in a while. So I just noticed that, man, I need to shake my legs. <laughs> Good thing you guys are far enough away that you don't even know. All right, now, one more stretch. I'm gonna kind of take it deeper here. I think I can do a deeper stretch. I'm not sure. <laughs> my legs are so fragile. Okay, we're gonna sit Indian style and breathe that leg. Oh, can I get it over the top? And then, because we did so much quad today, I want to do one of my favorite stretches for quads. A lot of times we do um, just, I do like no stretching in, with you. Um, that does not mean that I don't think we need to be stretching, we do, but I don't take the time in my classes to add a bunch of that on. Um, so, you need to be doing that on your own if you stick around a little bit after I shut off my um, computer and stretch or whenever you do it. But usually if I do show you any stretches, they're standing. So I'm gonna show you this quad stretch that's awesome lying down. So if you can stick around for just a second, it will be worth it because you're gonna be sore in your quads tomorrow. You might start getting sore tonight. We'll have to see, right? We can check in with each other. Oh, I'm so sore. <laughs> hey, quad stretch. I'll probably show you one side and then you can stick around and do it as long as you want, okay? So you just lie on your tummy, 
Or reach on back and grab your foot. But here's the trick. Bring your knees in close. Relax your quad, so you'll have to relax. And then pull your heel in as close to your backside as you can. If you're pretty flexible, you can pass your backside. And then try this at different angles. So you can hold it here. You can do it here with both arms. And then you can even do it across your body this way. Yeah? Boom. Hey, give it a try. And I'm going to check in with you guys if I can stand up. Oh. There was a lot of screaming in this class, guys. I did a lot of screaming. Yes, Jody, I know that about you. I hate quad work, but I need it. That's one of my things that I'm like, oh, I got to do it. But um, it is my Achilles heel. It always just kills me. So, yes, it hurt like crazy. Courtney, it was all terrible. <laughs> Perfect. I like to hear that kind of. <laughs> yeah. um, I have jello legs, definitely. I think quads, it was, it was a needed... Um, a needed departure from straight glutes and hamstrings today. So nice job, everybody. Um, stretch out, you know, those standing quad stretches. The other one that I like is this one, hips too. I've been working on more hip mobility, but let's see if I can, this one, you can hold on, right? So if you're looking for a deeper stretch, there you go. Nice job. I'm going to let you go. Get after it today. It's going to be another hot day. I hope you get to enjoy the beautiful weather. And we'll see you tomorrow. I think it's cardio and abs, but I can't remember. So check. <laughs> All right. We'll see you then.